we are heading out for our first day in Prague. So, let's go. This is our walk every day because there's no elevator. 96 stairs to our apartment. <laughs> We're about to grab some lunch over here at Baguettery. It was recommended by a bunch of people on Google reviews and we'll check it out. I got this sweet rib. I'm about to try it for the first time. It's really good. The baguette is nice and crunchy on the outside, but super soft on the inside. Total for both of us was 18 US dollars. So not bad and it's really, really good. People that I have been following said that if you get the uh, patatas, to make sure you get tartar sauce on there as well. So I'm about to try that. That was a good recommendation. I definitely recommend that. That was so good. Our first time, but definitely come here if you come to Prague. It's gorgeous. Somewhere I've wanted to come since I was a little kid. Right behind me is the astronomical clock in about eight minutes. It's gonna put a little show on for us. This is so cool. This whole plaza is beautiful. It's everything that you think of when you think of Prague. Dates all the way back to 1410 when it was created. Just to see something that's over 600 years old and still operating is pretty awesome. I am definitely seeing a river boat tour in our future. That looks like a perfect view. We made it to the Charles Bridge. This bridge was once the only way to cross between both sides of town. Now it's a pedestrian only bridge, no cars, just mainly for tourism. We're definitely gonna have to come back here whenever the sun is either rising or midday because it's so beautiful. I wish I could capture more of it. Right now it's about 4.45 in the evening and the sun's already setting. So maybe tomorrow morning we'll stop by and show you guys the sunrise. It is so beautiful, it's a European dream. We are back at the Charles Bridge. There is upstairs right here in the tower that you can go up to. So we're gonna take a walk up there and check out the views. This is such a unique and special view. It was about 150 Czech Corona, which is about 14 US dollars to get up here. I definitely recommend it. slightly terrified right now. I do not like heights. We just finished up going in the tower over the Charles Bridge. It's kind of a quick experience, but the views are ridiculous. Uh, if you're over here, you might as well check it out. Yesterday, Sean posted in a Prague group on Facebook and just asking what we should do in Prague. Somebody contacted him and asked if we could meet them so they could take us on a tour around different parts of Prague. We're just going to go explore some different parts while we wait to meet him. I'm about to try my first ever chocolate Trondonique. They put the chocolate all inside of it and on the outside it looks like it's got like a sugar layer on it. Cinnamon toasty with the flavor, but pretty pretty tough. Like I thought it was gonna be a little bit softer than what it is. It's not like overpowering sweet. It's like a mild sweet, which I kind of like that. It's about 60 crowns per person each way to take the cable car up to the top of the Petron Hill to the lookout tower. Going up. The Petron Tower back here was actually designed uh, to kind of model the Eiffel Tower. The original engineer who designed it loved the Eiffel Tower and used that as kind of like his basis to go off of. The views up here are ridiculous. Crazy blue hour over behind the Prague Castle. The sunset back over towards Old Town. You can hang out inside if you're super scared to go out on the ledge. But Marissa's a chicken when it comes to heights and she went out there like a champ, so I feel like anybody can do it. We're supposed to be meeting a local Czech guy who reached out uh, on a post that I made on Facebook. So we're going to meet up with him and he's going to show us around his town. <laughs> so Matthew just took us to a local gingerbread store and we got some hot wine. 
Uh, do you guys want to meet Matthew? He's right here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he was nice enough to take us around and show us the city. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, they good? It's got like a cinnamon taste, kind of. A quick call? Okay. Like it? The apricot friend? Yeah, it's all sweet. It's good. Mm -hmm. All is check. Yeah, I'm okay with anything, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like it's bacon. Bacon, bacon and inside is plum okay. and our bread. Okay. This is liver puree okay. uh, with our bread. Okay. Start with the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon's good. Do you it's like good. It's very good. Yeah. Is this a traditional Czech food? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the liver better. You can continue to walk mm -hmm. on the liver. Can I pay this one, Matthew? I pay. You sure? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. This is Pretzlik. Pretzlik? Pretzlik. Pretzlik. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, last night we finished up recording a little early so we could spend more time with Matthew. Um, he was so nice. I just wanted to enjoy our time together and get to know him. And now we're about to head over to Manifesto Market where we're gonna try a bunch of different kinds of food. I thought 40 degrees would be warm but it's cloudy and windy. I didn't wear my big jacket. I'm kind of regretting it now. We're inside the Manifesto Market. We decided to try a bunch of different cuisines. Right here we have a dumpling soup, and then we got an Argentinian empanada with steak. With Indian restaurant, we got the kati roll with chicken. And then at the Mexican restaurant, we got tacos pastor topped with cheese. Let's dig in. I'm about to try the kati roll with chicken. Mm. It's like the perfect Indian burrito. That's so good. It's delicious. I got some fresh still water. I'm gonna cleanse my palate before I dive into this Argentinian empanada. Let's try it. Feels nice. It's not super dry and crunchy. It's not falling apart. It actually has like some nice moisture to it. The crust is like super thin, not like falling apart. I'm pretty picky when it comes to empanadas. I grew up with a Dominican family and we eat empanadas almost every holiday and, and these are really good. I just want to clarify, I have no idea what I'm doing on this. It's dumpling soup, it's Korean food. So with pho, which is Vietnamese, I know that you're supposed to sip the broth first and then eat like the pho noodles and everything. So I'm hoping that's how you do it. We'll see, I'll look it up later, see if I was right or wrong. That is slippery. <laughs> yeah, I can't grab it, so I'm just gonna slide that right there. It's very tender. The dumpling is like super soft and I really like that and the broth is very like hearty. Definitely really enjoy this. Um, I just hope I'm eating it right, probably not. Marissa didn't make it very hard to uh, try to outclass her on eating skills with chopsticks, I will say. Ah. <laughs> we have the tacos pastor topped with cheese. If anybody's gonna be the real critic on this, it's gonna be Marissa, she's a taco expert. <laughs> it's delicious. Marissa loves tacos. <laughs> mm. The onion mixed with the pineapple is like, this combination is amazing. Well, all these foods were really awesome to try and I'm sure we'll be uh, showing you guys some more food around Prague. So far, everything's been amazing. I haven't been disappointed once. So. Well, another day of uh, Marissa not feeling good. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. My voice is starting to come back. Now she's out for the count. She took another COVID test today. Still negative, so I just went, got my hair cut. Now I'm gonna walk up to this National Museum. Now I'm gonna head in. The architecture is amazing and uh, crazy. Now I'm sad Marissa's not here. All this artwork and she would absolutely love it. All right, well, it was really fun. I'm sure there was a ton more. I didn't even go over to the new building. If it's a rainy day or you're here long enough, 
definitely stop by. I didn't really want to do something super cool without Marissa. I'm super excited to do a lot of the same things I want to do. So I'm going to wait for her to feel better and we'll do. That's what we're here for. We're a team. All right. We just finished up our lunch and took the rest of the stroll up the hill and now we are at the Prague Castle. Let's go check it out. So we just paid our admission. It was 250 Czech Corona each, and then 50 Czech Corona each for an English tour guide for a one hour tour. The St. Vitus Cathedral is still working Roman Catholic Church, by the way. Think example of Art Nouveau style. It's by one of the most famous Czech painters of all times, Alphonse Mucha. Just finished our tour at the Prague Castle. It was amazing, and now we're about to go to the St. George Chapel, where it actually has uh, one of the oldest artworks in Prague on the ceiling. So let's check it out. It was a pretty awesome experience to see history that old and preserved so well it was uh, mind-blowing. Well, our time in Prague is coming to an end. We absolutely love Prague. We'll be back. We hope you guys enjoyed our time in Prague. And next week's video is going to be even better. We're renting our car, driving around the whole country of Czech Republic. We've got some awesome stops planned on our trip. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So tune in next week. I'm gonna go over that way later on. I was on Pokemon Go and there's like a statue on top of the building and it was like, it's dude, it looks like Deadpool or something. I wanna go see it. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it is. Hi. A little truck up my nose. This little food tour is by no means professional. We are just two people from North Carolina traveling the world and wanting to try a bunch of foods because we like to eat. Watching you eat is a thing of beauty, my love. You're so graceful. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <coughs> Voice check one, two, one, two. <clears throat>